Mortgage rates are expected to increase this year. So what does this mean to you? Over the last 50 years, the average on a 30 year fixed rate mortgage has been around 7.75%. Today, that rate is 2.81. Flocks of home buyers have been taking advantage of these remarkably low rates over the last 12 months. However, there's no guarantee rates will remain this low much longer. Many things impact mortgage rates, the economy, inflation, and federal policy, just to name a few. That makes forecasting rates difficult. However, there's one metric that has held up for the last 50 years, and that's the relationship between mortgage rates and the 10-year treasury rate. Here's a graph detailing this relationship since Freddie Mac started keeping mortgage rate records in 1972. There's no denying the close relationship between the two. Over the last five decades, there's been an average 1.7 point spread between these two rates. It's this long-term relationship that has some forecasters projecting an increase in mortgage rates as we move throughout the year. This is based upon the recent surge in the 10-year treasury rate shown here. How high might they go in 2021? No one knows for sure. While there are multiple temporary factors driving up rates, the underlying economic fundamentals point to rates remaining in the low 3% range for the remainder of this year. So what exactly does this mean to you? Whether you're a first time buyer or you've purchased a home before, even an increase of a half a point in a mortgage rate makes a big difference. On a $300,000 mortgage, that difference, including principal and interest, even on a half a percent change, is $82 a month, or $984 a year, or a total of $29,520 over the life of the home loan. Bottom line is this, based upon the 50-year symbiotic relationship between treasury rates and mortgage rates, it appears mortgage rates could be headed up this year. It may make sense to buy now rather than later.